Okay. I'd like to welcome everyone to the June 5th, 2017 meeting of the Delaware County Board of Commissioners. If everyone would please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. Um, I'm Jeff Benton, President of the Board. To my left is Gary Merrill, our Vice President. To my right is Barb Lewis, our fellow Commissioner. And Farzan uh, Ahmed is being represented by Assistant uh, County Administrator Cy Kelly today. And Jennifer Walraven is our clerk. So we do have a shorter agenda this morning, so maybe we can talk more golf later on. But <laughs> since we had the Memorial <laughs> Tournament just wrapped up. Um, but we'll turn it over to Jennifer. Start the start the meeting. Resolution number 17-573 in the matter of approving the electronic record of proceedings from regular meeting held June 1st, 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 17-573. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Ben. Aye. We do not have any public comment or elected official comment today, so that brings us to item number four. Resolution number 17-574. In the matter of approving purchase orders and announced certificates and payments of warranting batch number CM APR 0602. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion 17 574. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Resolution number 17 in the matter of approving travel expense requests. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion 17-575. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 17-576 in the matter of authorizing membership in the PEPPM Technological Bidding and Purchasing Program. So moved. Second. Discussion? Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Steve Lewis with the Data Center and County Auditor's Office. Um, this is simply a resolution that would allow um, the auditor's office slash data center, or actually I think the commissioners, to join the, um, the PEPM contract, which is a contract that uh, is competitively bid by a government agency in Pennsylvania. Um, there's over 40 states that are participating and allowed to use that, or, or taking advantage of using that contract today. Um, what this allows us to do is, is join that organization and be able to take advantage of some of those uh, competitive, competitively bid products. How, how did how did you come across with this, Steve? Uh, candidly, um, the current provider that of, of our switches, Extreme Networks, used to be on GSA and, and Ohio State term. They're no longer on that, um, and they have suggested that we use the PEPM contract. And in doing research, it was actually cheaper pricing than what the Ohio State term was. Um, mm -hmm. And working with Eric, um, he didn't see any. Any issues with using this as a as a different uh, avenue as opposed to the state term? You said join. Is there a membership fee or just? No, it's free. Hmm. Yeah, sounds sounds promising. Yeah, and yeah, this is similar to what the engineers do. Uh, Rob, you and Chris, you know this buying. Program. Unless John Melvin, I think, has the buying program uh, okay. that uh, is out of Texas. I think it is. I think same sort of thing. Can buy all sorts of different things. Um, so, yeah, very, very promising. We don't have to use them. We do not. We do not. So what we would do is we would check pricing just to make sure that it is more um, favorable to us than any other pricing mechanism yeah. that we can use. Okay. Great. All right. Vote. Vote on motion 17-576. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Steve. Resolution number 17-577, in the matter of approving a transfer of appropriation and supplemental appropriation. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, transfer of appropriations to get the letter grant through the rest of the, through the remaining of the year. And the supplemental appropriation is for, the, for supplies and reimbursements and refunds for county treasurer's tax certificate program. Okay. Vote. Vote on motion 17-577. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 17-578 in the matter of approving right away work permit summary sheet. So moved. Okay. Discussion. Good morning, Commissioners. Rob Riley, Chief Deputy Engineer. 
We received five permit applications uh, in the last few weeks. Uh, staff has reviewed all of the associated plans and recommends approval. Okay, vote. Vote on motion 17 578, Mr. Benton. Aye. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. Mr. Merrill. Aye. Thanks, Rob. Brings us to administrator reports. Any reports? I have nothing to report today. Okay. All right. Commissioner Merrill. Any Oklahoma sports updates for us? <laughs> you kind of said no for that, didn't you? I heard you brought my. Uh, I did. I was I very proudly mentioned that the men's softball or men's doubles tennis team yeah. won. And the football team hadn't won anything in a long time. I understand later that you're, you know, out of Georgia to win that one. No, that's true. Uh, yeah, it's been a good spring for the University of Oklahoma. So. <laughs> Softball, maybe I'll mention that next Monday. We'll let this thing play out. <laughs> the, end of, the end of the finals. Um, just had two real quick things. Uh, attended the legislative meeting last uh, Friday at Source Point. Uh, it was attended by uh, our representatives, Carfagna and Brenner. And uh, it was, as usual, very informative, very helpful. And, uh, uh, and the two of them are working very hard on our behalf. Um, Morpsey Tour, I thought it went really well Thursday. Um, um, Learned a lot about Union County. It was a shared tour between Union and Delaware County, and uh, we were the afternoon, and um, certainly um, lots going on in Union, but as you know, lots going on in our county as well. So mm -hmm. uh, I thought they handled the tour pretty well. It would be nice. We could we could literally spend a whole day on Delaware County. Hopefully next time they do this, they can perhaps divide us up and, uh, and do that. So that's all I have. Okay. Commissioner Lewis. Well, let's see. We were at IKEA. Went to uh, Commissioner Benton and I were at the IKEA luncheon, uh, and uh, along with several other Jane and and uh, several Auditor Keitzel. Yeah, there. Auditor Keitzel. Let's uh, see. Our, or Natalie Brady. Right in the convention. Visitors and convention. Yes, our sure, visitors sure. and convention bureau yes. was there, but it is. It is just amazing to see really IKEA something. and to walk through it and get lost. And we got on the rooftop. We did. Saw we the 3,500 solar panels. Yes. That, yeah. Which were amazing. How much? What percentage again of their? Energy? Twenty to forty percent. Okay. The electricity okay. is going to be generated through those solar panels. Ah, oh, it was just talk about huge. Yeah. And there, there have been some nice uh, articles in the paper, too, about the importance of IKEA. It certainly is. I mean, it's definitely a regional draw in some cases beyond uh, regional. It's, uh, it will not only uh, boost our tax collections to, to a greater degree, but also uh, in, to the area. Right, in employment. Mm -hmm. I believe they're employing about 350. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, many from uh, yeah. Delaware County, Franklin County. Yeah, interestingly, the store manager is a gentleman by the name of David Garcia, and he's That's right. from Spain. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he was, started with IKEA in Spain, and uh -huh. now he's moved to Ohio to be a store manager for a Swedish company. So right. it's just really a global, uh, global enterprise. Boy, it is. Do you remember how many countries they're in? Was it forty? Countries, something like 48 countries. I mean, it's. Yeah, I asked him how many they have in Russia. He said they have 11 stores in Russia. Gosh. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 Just. And, and needless to say, they're very choosy about what places right. they right. they uh, they build new new stores in. Yeah, so that, that's a good point. It was, this was a very competitive yes. uh, situation for. For us to land mm -hmm. uh, an IKEA in Delaware County is a real compliment to us because I know they were looking at, at the Cleveland area. And right, they were. And uh -huh. They selected, selected in Delaware County. I know. At one point, I think they were even talking about Cleveland and Delaware County, but then they dropped the Cleveland mm -hmm. idea. So, yep. great event. And mm -hmm. and then, what do you do Wednesday? Oh, I'm I'm raising the flag. <laughs> Raising the American flag Wednesday morning, they've got it. They've got it choreographed down to almost the minute. Um, but I'm first up, raising the American flag at 8:25. That's quite an honor. And then the quite store, an honor. and there's a number of other 
uh, speakers and so on. I, I, fortunately, I do not have a speaking part. Fortunately for the audience, I do not have a speaking part. Um, but uh, there's the Swedish flag will be raised, the Ohio State flag will be raised. That's uh -huh. Ohio, the state of Ohio flag, not the Ohio State University flag. <laughs> Clarification. <laughs> and um, and then the store opens. The madness begins. The madness begins. At nine oh my gosh! And there were some shopping. Um, there were some shopping passes. I know some people were actually shopping. Yes. This yes. weekend. Our family was represented. How did that go? It was many bags full of, of success. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. She's very good. She is. <laughs> was it crowded Saturday for those? She said it wasn't that crowded. Because it was, I think, just by invitation, so it probably didn't. Yes, it was by. Uh, I don't know how you can fill four huge bags. Oh my gosh. With nothing big. Such a small purchase. Such deals, though. That, <laughs> it's just incredible. That, uh, yeah. They got a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, and for those of you who are interested, you can still camp out. Um, <laughs> there, uh, I think it started at nine o'clock. So it's too late. Well, the first too late. Oh, okay. They've already there are already people in line right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there are. Um, yeah. And I think the first 44 get a couch, and then the first hundred kids get something. A toy of some sort. They just get, yeah, stuffed animals yeah, or something. Yeah. That, yeah. So you're, not gonna, you're not going over there to camp out after the session? Oh, well, that's a thought, but, but I have to go to DKMM today, so I guess okay. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it was very exciting. It, it was exciting. It really was. It was just, I mean, just the scope. And the food was very good. Too. Yeah. A lot of, three different types of Swedish meatballs. Mm -hmm. When I when I saw Representative Carfania take seconds and he took a lot of meatballs, I did comment to Joseph there. <laughs> Wait till he hears this on tape. <laughs> or on, yeah. But anyway, I commented to Joseph, who is uh, the Mark, the, the PR person. Yeah, PR person. I said, you know, the fact that Representative Carfania. <laughs> To call those meatballs is a great compliment with his family owning one of the That's best true. Italian restaurants in the city. So, right, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was fun. Right. I better stop. Yeah, no, we <laughs> All right, we've talked about IKEA enough. We are certainly thrilled to have them here, and, and that is going to be great. Um, anything else? That's it. Okay. Thank you. I had a couple of other things. We do have the, as Commissioner Lewis mentioned, we do have the DKMM meeting this afternoon in Mount Vernon. We're going to discuss really a pretty important strategic direction for that organization to go um, and hopefully come to a conclusion on that. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, we did have the, the memorial did finish on oh, yes. uh, last oh, yeah. night. At, it was on at 8.06. The, the final Jeez. rain delay got ended wow. at 8.06. Wow. And Jason Duffner pulled it out. After having a bad round Saturday, he managed to come back on Sunday and, and pull it out and win by three strokes. So it was quite a quite a feat for, for Jason Duffner. And he's an Ohio native. So it's good for the Buckeye State. Um, Okay, we have need for more than one executive yes. session. So we'll start our first one. Okay. <laughs> Resolution number 17-579. In the matter of adjourning into executive session to consider the purchase of property for public purposes and for pending or imminent litigation. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion 17-579. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. All right, we're in executive session.